This year, Madden NFL 11 takes online to a whole other level. Hello, everybody, and welcome to JJ Center's online franchise highlight show where you are great, you are awesome, and you are part of the greatest online franchise ever created. And I want to personally ask you to forgive me if you have been part of this thing and I have let people stay in the league who have not been playing their games, who have just constantly been missing, and, and they'll message me on Sunday saying, hey, my opponent doesn't play, and, and I mean, you know, they've only been on on Sunday, you know, trying to make efforts. I want to ask you to forgive me. I am ramping up my efforts. This online franchise will finish off greater than it began. I'm not going to call it the greatest online franchise in the world and tell everybody to love everybody if I'm not going to do the same for you. So I want to ask you to forgive me for all that. I want to thank you for joining. I want to thank you for watching. Every one of you who are part of JJ Center 1 and JJ Center 2, hello. Every one of you who are not part of it, hello. And I just want to say, you know, it's, it's really cold here. You know, this is how we spend our time in Florida. Uh, in the United States, you know, it's about 78 degrees outside right now. i got to have, you know, a fan on, you know. I, just put in the comment section what degree it is from where you're from. Uh, I just wanted to find out, you know, who I'm talking to because I don't want to keep on wearing stuff like this and make you guys feel bad or something. But anyways, if you don't want to receive one of these, I suggest you play your games. I suggest you message your opponent and accept a friend request in the beginning of the week. I don't want to get messages on Sunday saying, oh, my God, I've been looking for him and, and he ain't around. Don't be looking for your guy on Sunday because I advance on Monday. The new kick day is going to be Monday. If you have any problems, give me a question. Give me a give me a holler on the PS3 about that. Um, if you're not willing to play this franchise and you're not committed, just leave. I don't care. That's fine. If you want to stay in it, I'm committed to you. I'm going to help you get every single game played possible. Now, remember, these are the holidays. I need you guys to get on and get your games played. I see all you guys on Call of Duty all the time when your opponent's online at the same time. And you know what? I'll just kick you. I don't care. Because I love everybody, and I want everybody to play their games and have fun. This is awesome. It only takes 40 minutes to get your game played. So we're going to start off and kick this off. That way you don't have to look at my face for any longer, and I'll meet you about halfway through the video and say hello again. Ah, uh, yes. Could it be this week? Cronker got a loss. Who he came from? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Will anybody beat You Got to Witness Me? Red Album vs. Dirty this week. 8-4. and four, Battle it off. Folks, this is what it's all about. Coming down to the end of the wire. Stevie Wonder, 11-1. Very impressive. Bruins boy on a little bit of a tear here. Here are the power rankings for JJ Center. Pretty much everything is the same from last week. Uh, this week, Dirty vs. the Red Album. We're going to have to get that game played. Make sure you play your games, guys. I need to see this. And Call Me Touch vs. the Red Album. Came down to the fourth quarter with a two-point conversion failed by Denver, but he still got the win, 29-28. Uh, to 28. Uh, The last score of our Red Album was at four minutes there, and this was definitely our closest game of the week. Um, Call Me Touch coming in, taking care of the Broncos. They're 1-10, and 10, and he's a really good passer, and it's showing with three touchdowns there. But Jamal Charles with three touchdowns himself had a lot of, a lot of yards probably coming through. the. I know he ran back one for a touchdown, but... Spreading the ball up pretty good. Steven the Beast for a squeaky person. Uh, looking at a 17 to 11 win. Uh, taking the lead in the third quarter there. Sage Rosenfels filling in for an injured Alex Smith. Four interceptions. Definitely put a damper on that one. Looking good though. I'm proud of Steven the Beast for stepping up in these tough battles. Uh, I'm only highlighting close games, and this was a close game, so I wanted to get it in there. And this one, also another close game. Davis running in last fourth quarter, three minutes. Jerome Davis. Was it Jerome Davis? No, it's Jerome Harrison. Who's the Davis guy? Anyway, Seneca Wallace and Pennington had to split the duties. Probably had some a little bit of injuries going on there. But look at this. Pat White. What was that? He didn't even own the Dolphins anymore, but he's good for Madden because he's fast. So that's pretty impressive. But uh, we got a little bit of rushing yards out of Ricky Williams with a touchdown. And Ronnie Brown catching six balls for a touchdown. And Z-Man verse, I believe that is NC GIF, 38-28. to 28. Reggie Bush coming in at the last part of the half there. I believe four interceptions definitely put a damper in the drive for him. Fred Jackson, two touchdowns, 121 yards rushing. Z-Man showing that he could do it in the air and on the ground. And Lewis Murphy catching two touchdowns for 171 yards. Very, very impressive also there. Uh, this one was our only overtime game of the year, folks. This was very impressive. Look at that. 
Chris Johnson, 47-yard TD run by Iron Man over Anacrodium. Folks, this is what I am doing this for. I am doing it for the close games. If you have a heart to absolutely blow people out, then I don't know what the frig's wrong with you. <laughs> so this is what it's all about. Keeping it close. I bet you this game was more fun than they've ever played before. Coming down to the end of the wire in overtime, win and loss. I want to thank you guys for playing your games. Remember, this week we need to get our games. If you get your games played quicker, I will advance the week quicker. Go ahead, guys, you got to hear that. Uh, as we have our new guy, Duntouchable, he's wanting me to highlight him. And I threw it in here, even though he won by almost 20 points. I'm doing this just because he's new and Mo Kling threw five touchdowns with my man, Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, so I, I did throw it in there because this was a high point. This was my game, folks. I posted it on Machinima last week. Every Saturday is my show. And I'm also going to put a link right here for that video so go ahead and go check that out but it's a complete breakdown of the whole game talking about mad momentum and stuff and it calls the title it the number one punt <laughs> because we basically went back and forth Cronker beat me at the beginning of the season in a close game but i came down to the wire basically shut him out in the whole second half and didn't let him score at all and that was very impressive but look at that pass by Cronker throwing it deep on me and right up the middle I can't catch this interception and that was it that sealed the deal I pretty much took over from that point this was a kickoff return for a touchdown right from the kickoff in the second half so this was basically the last point scored in the whole game I couldn't believe it we basically went up 14 to 9 right there with that coming down to the end of the wire Sanchez throwing it deep fourth and 10 Chung making a tackle and breaking it down here it is folks here's the greatest punt that has ever been made you need I went three and out he was fixing a march down the field and where do I punt it Folks, on the one-yard line, Zoltan Mesko, my new favorite player, more favorite than Brady, as Sanchez receives that sack for a safety at the end of the game to win it 16-9. Thank you, Cronker, for being an awesome team sport. And very important thing, I want to thank Miley Cyrus for being a wonderful part of our league. He had joined up. He's number one on the leaderboards in Madden. Uh, me and him have, have really been working together. Uh, he's definitely have a different game style than us, as you can see through his games. Uh, he's just he's dominant. He's he, he wins every game he plays. He nanos. He he stopped nanoing and he still won the game he played. And <laughs> so he has he has stepped down from our franchise. And this is uh, just kind of I wanted to give him credit and I wanted to thank thank him for being a good man for stepping up and doing it. Um, you know, I was in a league, you know, all of us are more of sim style players and uh, everybody's getting destroyed by him and he pretty much won when he started. And so, you know, I'm kind of having, I want to thank him so much. Uh, me and him are going to do a video on Machinima Sports and stuff. Uh, well, I guess I am. And I'm going to play him and I'm going to compare the game styles from the from the exploits to the sim style game and just kind of talk to everybody about it. So I just want to thank him for being a stand up man. Uh, many lesser of a man would have would have done some pretty pretty crappy things, and I want to thank him. Uh, Spencer is the the crap. <laughs> everybody, love everybody. Um, he's probably down here in the messages, and I just want to give him credit. I want to thank him for for allowing us to continue the league the way that I wanted to. I, I didn't want to sacrifice what I've been preaching and telling you guys the whole time. Everybody love everybody. And, and, and I don't do that for you. So I stood up as your manager, and I took care of our league, and I'm going to keep it the way I want it. Uh, I want it sim style. And, and this is a warning out to you. Uh, it's just to you guys who are doing any glitches or nanos or um, even to the point of blitzing on every single down. We're not about that. When I started this league, I had no idea about these things, and so when people came in, I was I didn't set up any rules against them. I didn't know about them, so I'm just learning about these things. And just so you know, when I set up an online franchise, I'm committed for 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 a long time, and uh, we're going to do something after these franchises, possibly It'd be invitation only or something. But um, I'm going to have one in Madden 12, Madden 13, Madden 14, as long as the Lord lets me. I mean, as long as I ain't got 50 kids in my house piling up, then I got to take care of them. But I mean, you guys are like my family now. We're hanging out, having fun. So I want to make sure you guys know that I'm not just barely getting through this thing. I'm learning as I go. I'm adjusting to what's happening. And I'm willing to make the hard decision if I have to, in which that's what I did. And I want to thank all you guys. I want to remind you and put a warning out to you. If you're that kind of player, just go ahead and leave now. 
Um, I, most of the people that I have, I haven't had any messages about anybody. And remember, you know, we don't want to blow anybody out. We don't want to run the same exact play every single down. I mean, who cares about that kind of stuff? I want to play games. I want to enjoy them. Keep them close. Have fun. If you're winning by 40, don't go for it on two. Stop going for it on fourth down when you're winning like that. Come on. So have fun. Remember, everybody love everybody. And we're going to have a good end of the year. If you don't have a winning record right now and you want to finish off the year strong, you're kind of going to, I, I don't want to tell you what's happening, but it all depends on how the rest of the year goes, what I'm going to do next. Um, pretty much these franchises probably be over when the trophies are given out. We do need to kind of hit a reset button here, uh, just so you know. Um, I, I'll you know, I, I, they have my name on them, so I have to, you know, cancel them. I can't just give them to somebody. They didn't have my name on them because my name is everything and what I'm, what I'm doing. So with all that said, I know this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but I wanted to really get all this information out to you guys. So with that, let's go and jump into JJ Center 2 and start off with that. As we move on to JJ2, please remember, folks, this is only three weeks left in the regular season for JJ Center 1, and JJ Center 2 is in the NFL schedule also and folks if we get our games done early i will advance the week so please play your games monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday why wait until sunday to get your games played if you wait till sunday i mean people aren't even going to be able to play and if you message me on sunday hey my my opponent won't won't respond to my messages because i and i got on today i mean that's just bull crap come on now but this here's my man uss defiant with the dolphins playing against sophie's crew folks I'm very impressed, and I'm proud of USS Defiant. He is my buddy. He lives here in Florida with me. We used to work together. Look at that. 100 yards apiece. Ricky Williams, three. Ronnie Brown, two touchdowns. I can't believe it, man. I was so proud of him. I'm like, good Lord, man. That's the greatest game I've ever seen. And So it's pretty cool playing with friends and having fun here. And remember, everybody love everybody. E-L-E. -E. Yes, as Seth takes it over Flyers 02 here. Flyers. Make sure you play a game versus Untouchable. This week, everybody is working. Everybody is, like, Black Friday is the biggest shopping day ever. And anybody who works in those kind of retail businesses have a lot of work to do. Go! Oh, Brandon Tate just dropped a ball and watching this game on Thanksgiving. But anyways, um, a lot of people working. Long hours. Four in the morning to nine at night. Come on, guys. Let's play these games. And look at this. Akuno versus Finzigo. Finzigo taking the win last second look at that two minutes to go scoring a touchdown to take it over sam bradford a promising rookie looking really good in this game very impressive i'm very happy about that i'm happy that these games are close uh, i put a lot of games in here because the games were close and Please remember to subscribe to my channel because every Saturday this show comes out. I post it on every Saturday, and I wanted to make sure that you knew that. If you subscribe to me, then when you – every Saturday, you can look in your little subscription box of YouTube, and it will show – click on my name, and it will show my recent videos. Then you can check them out, and that way you can enjoy them all. But I want to thank you so much. Holy Vigilante versus Call Me Touch. Holy Vigilante kind of – I thought he would pull off the win here, but it's very impressive, and I want to thank you guys for being a part of the greatest franchise ever and uh, i'll go ahead and finish it off by you looking at my wonderful hawaiian shirt and my beautiful 80 degree weather and again thank you so much for watching please hit the like button if you are part of the franchise you better hit the like right now and uh stevie wonder hit the like i know you i know you're out there you hit the little dislike button oh no you're not that rebellious i remember anyways i'm having a blast with you guys you guys are the greatest people i've ever played with uh you're making it fun if i'm on black ops call of duty send me a message i'll play with you guys too uh playing madden together go ahead and send me invites i'll play some people i got a little bit of extra time right now um i don't mind playing you guys uh, if i can uh, First, you know, my family always comes first. My wife needs me, my kids need me. I'll let you know, but don't get mad if I can't play. But if you want to play, send me a message. Let's have some fun. And remember, everybody love everybody. E-L-E. -E. If you agree with me, put E-L-E -E in the comments section. Let's fill up the comments section. Oh, crap. I just hit my fan. Jeez. Let's fill up the comments section. I'm a little bit too tall with E-L-E. -E. So if you get a message E-L-E, -E, it means everybody love everybody. Peace.